All right, so we're following the whole Damian Lillard thing. Get a resolution already. Let's go. All right, come on, chop chop Portland. But we do have uh, we do have a social media update, Leroy. I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but no. Tyler Hero, Uh-oh. Tyler Hero, he's done the thing, and we know we've done this. All right, when you start removing team stuff off of your page, it's a sign. And so Tyler Hero, I don't know if this happened yesterday. I don't know, but it's a uh, but this was noticed yesterday that it no longer had Miami Heat guard with the picture of him at the Heat facility on there. It now has no header, and it just says slow motion. Hey, why? Like, I don't understand. Especially like, see when when this happens in football, mm-hmm. right? It means something totally different, right? It means giving that contract. Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Um, But when this happens in basketball, you already signed for the bag. Mm -hmm. So any any place you go, you still going to have an opportunity because once you get the bag, they're going to start playing you like you got the bag. They got to get something out of you. Yeah, it, like, and that's the kind of thing that's that's tough about it because I do feel for Tyler Hero. Um, no, because, you don't. I do. I do. You offered him up first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do Wait, a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's backtrack here. Hmm? How many times have you traded Tyler Hero? That's not fair. No, I that's not answer fair. That's the not fair. question. That's not fair. How answer many times have you tried to trade him? How many times have I done that? What? How many times have they tried to trade him? How about no. That? Dude, you have thrown. I offered to make some ribs and drive them to you. And you say, I say, what do you have? Tyler Hero. That's not fair. Right? <laughs> like, but he has been, <laughs> since since the since his rookie year, he right. has been in trade rumors for James Harden. Yeah. He has been in trade rumors for Kevin Durant. Yeah. Trade rumors for Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. And now he's in trade rumors for Damian Lillard. Okay. And yeah, he finally is just like, you know what? I'm taking heat off of my page. I mean, but they are it's so different in basketball, though. I'm with you. He's got How can you Look, be offended? You're gonna be making 25 million a year. They gave you fun, that right? bag. So I shouldn't feel bad. They gave you that bag. You're it'd right. be different if it'd be different if he was under his rookie contract, and then he would have to go somewhere and play and re-earn that contract. And he got to start last year. They did right by it. They, oh, I want to start. And, and so they, they, they did. They, they, Wait they a minute. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. What? 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 You See, what you're what? doing in this next episode of Tyler Hero mm-hmm. is you're trying to justify. I'm not justifying. Yes, you, you are. That. You just you me, 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 that means they paying you like you are an elite player or a top. Then how they use you is on them. Look, it's not. Not, if you got the bag, do you want to live in Portland? Or do you want to live in Miami? I'm uh, I mean, I'm sure you'd rather live in Miami. Hey, no, listen, I get it. I understand Miami is a premier destination. You can live your days, the end of your days in Miami. And it's just a bonus that you get to also work there. I get that. But in a sport or in all sports where being traded is part of the, the you know, the makeup of that sport, the most important thing is getting a bag. I think my question. He got is, it. Well, here's my question, though. Like, let's just say that he do. He come back in off season. No, Everybody he, else does. Yeah, but here's the thing. There still are feelings on this thing, right? Like if if the Heat did screw this, hear me out. Like if the Heat do screw this up and they don't get Damian Lillard, which Pat, don't hey, lose. You're just getting sidetracked. You don't. you keep going back and forth, Pat. Don't and lose, keep, Pat. Stay focused. We talk about Tyler if Hero. They, if they stay screwed focused. it up, All if right. they screwed it up and they don't get Damian Lillard, right. okay? Because uh-huh. I feel like if they, if somehow they traded him and they were able to do it without Tyler, I think he'd be happy to play with that squad, right? But let's just say they don't want Ty- they, the Tyler Heroes doesn't get traded. He's back uh-huh. on the Miami Heat. Uh-huh. Like at some point, if you're Tyler Hero, you're like, hey, how many years do I got to go through this? 
you know, with 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 trade rumors. I get it. You got a bag, get a hundred. You, plus you know what dollars. I'm thinking? If I'm the Heat, hmm? you mean how many years you got to go through making twenty five million a year? I have three more. You, you, but you, as you've said, these guys are real people too. Yes, I'm you not. I'm, feelings? But there's a difference in being a real person and having a guaranteed contract and being a real person and wondering if the next team going to cut you. Listen, phenomenal. Listen, I get you, but he's got a lot of money. All these guys have a lot of money, but Damian Lillard makes a lot of money. I'm sure people are like, hey, you're not happy making a gazillion dollars? You know? All these guys make a ton of money. It doesn't mean we don't see feelings get hurt all the time. Okay. So I'm just I, wondering, can the Heat bring Tyler Hero know, back? You point? know how my feelings got hurt? Hmm? I went not from making money. X amount of dollars to making – Way less than X amount of dollars. I understand. There's that a, hurt my feelings. There's definitely a foot. There's definitely a football <laughs> basketball divide here. As far right. as that, I get right. you. But I'm just saying, from a he's a young man. You know, he's a young. He's a young man. He's got feelings. So I'm just trying to. say. I'm not disputing that. But you know, we get them feelings feeling good. Mm -hmm. Pocket full of money, <laughs> because that's your profession. Like, yeah, this is big boy. This big boy basketball. Mm -hmm. Right. This big boy basketball. That's part of it. So the way you have to look at this situation is, I'm upset. I want to play for the Heat, but the Heat did give me my bag, and I'm going to still be able to go and make another bag. It ain't like he going somewhere to sit on the damn bench. He going to be even more, a, a more integral part than he probably would have been with the Heat. I would agree. Like, for example, if he gets rerouted to Brooklyn, in a three in a, in a three team deal because that's kind of the word on this is uh is that you know there's going to be some other team because Portland doesn't want him so some other team that does want him which there's reports that Brooklyn is interested in him. Uh, I got to well, tell you that would hurt my feelings more than anything. What do you that mean? That you up for a trade and, and the other team say we don't want him. That would hurt my feelings yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> forget, 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 but forget the team trading me. I would be more disrespected by the team they tried to trade saying we don't want him. Yeah, but some team wants to get involved and get in on there for you. So in a way, that's almost like a, an extra compliment that they want to get on the works to get to get. You know what helps? You know what helps Tyler getting this trade done? Mm -hmm. Brunson. What? Because remember, Brunson what won the sixth man of the year. Wait, didn't Brunson win sixth man of the year? Uh, no. No, you think, you think I'm, I'm thinking Brogdon. Brock. Brogdon won six. Yeah. Brogdon won six man of the year. Which, by the way, I love the Celtics fan who's coming out and being like, well, "Why can't we send her a trade around Brogdon?" And like, he already got rejected as damaged goods for a trade. You had to trade Marcus Smart for for uh, who the hell is it? for for Kristaps Chris Porzingis because Brogdon's body doesn't work. Medical red flag. But but I'm just saying that this is has a very similar to, similar feel in that. Um, he ended up going somewhere and being really productive. And a lot of teams will say, well, what can Tyler Hero be? Then you have, you know, kind of an idea looking at what Brockton was when he went to um, to Boston. I mean, yeah, but are you, I mean, Tyler Hero already did what Brockton did last year at 22 years old and did it better. His numbers again, uh, again, makes it more appealing. You That's know, my like point. The thing with Tyler that I feel like would be appealing is that dude's 23 years old. You're like, you haven't even really scratched the surface yet on what he may be. That's beautiful. Right. Portland doesn't need him. No, Portland may not need him, but another team may. Like, if, if Brooklyn's in on it, they throw another asset Portland's way and they get Tyler Hero. But that's my question. Why would Brooklyn, who's involved, as who's also being involved? They're not, though, dude. Like, they're not. Like, that's the thing. Everybody keeps saying, like, the reports are, he wants to go to Miami. There's no other team he wants to go to. These lists... These things that are thrown out there, it's everybody is all just saying things hypothetically because it's like, well, the Heat don't have the best deal. Okay, maybe they don't. Neither did Phoenix, and they got Kevin Durant. Here's the here's they the here's the problem. Brooklyn won it though. We talking about Tyler Hero's feelings. We talking about Dame Dame Dollar. We talking about Brooklyn's feelings and why would they do this? The guy who's all up in his feelings is Cronin. Because some of the things that he said, and now what he's saying with Dame, mm -hmm. he's trying to save face. Yeah. And and the only way he's he a can, liar. Right. The only way he can really and truly save face is to just acknowledge what Dame Dollar has been for the organization and just send him where he wants to go. And everybody would applaud that and say, you know what? 
Portland did right by Dame. But he ain't buying that. You know why? Because he's the billionaire owner that usually gets what he wants. And for somebody to walk in his office and say, this is what I want, a lot of billionaires, that doesn't rub right. That doesn't go well. And that's the problem. So even when he came out and said the meeting went great, some have speculated that Dame asked for a trade then. Yeah, the meeting didn't go great. The meeting was a lie. But that's, meeting... but that's my point. And that's the only reason why it is, is because the Portland owner is trying to look good. And in a bad situation, a lot of times you just got to do it. You ain't going to come out looking good. You can come out and say, look, it's an unfortunate situation, but we do understand where Dame is coming from. And because of what he's done to this organization, he could have been gone three years ago, right? Mm -hmm. We will accommodate Dame and you will look like a rock star, but his feelings are hurt. He doesn't want a player demanding anything because he is the owner. And that's kind of how he's handling this. Oh, Miami. He wants to go to Miami. We're doing what's best for Portland. We'll take so, a quick yeah. We'll take a quick break. Hour two coming up next.